from the beginning, there's water. The deeps. The silence. My refuge. I had never dived before. Now it's like a drug. When Bernard left me, I never got over it. And I started to dive every day because underwater tears don't show. Whenever I dive, the only thing that frightens me is going back up to the world. I'd like to stay there where it's safe. When Bernard left me, I didn't think I'd survive. The pain was constant, unbearable, and it's never gone away. Usually a wound will heal, but mine is still a running sore. None of my friends can stand it. Even my mother's fed up with it. Nobody wants to hear about it. The only thing that helps is diving. He was my beloved, my soulmate. I felt a connection that went way back. I, I don't know how to explain it. As if we'd known each other for a long, long time. From the past. From another life. We were good together, but I wanted more, and I was terrified of losing him. It drove him away. I can't honestly say I was surprised, and my world fell to pieces, and I haven't been able to put it back together. with me, Ma? I feel that I've got to protect myself, as if I was a little snail without a shell. I imagine that having experienced this separation at the start of life, Maybe to avoid any more hurt, you sort of make a carapace. I'm guessing that's it, but I'm no good at explaining. When I was little, I always had one friend, just one, boy or girl. I didn't need anyone else. But with that person, things had to be perfect. A perfect symbiosis. With my husband, when we met, I, uh, I felt this would be the relationship I'd been longing for the moment I set my eyes on him. And I went for it. <laughs> Incredible. Because normally I don't let anyone come near. A bit later I found out that his family has had twins for generations. And that his first name, Thomas, actually it means twin in Aramaic. So I believe that on some level, I was really led to him. <laughs> Finding your place. That could be a problem. Figuring out what you want in life, separate from the other. That's when a twin starts to be a burden. And I mean, you can't talk to your friends. Nobody can understand. I actually have a very clear picture of the time my mother told me about this twin brother. And that's how I remember it, visually. 
you know, such vivid visual impression, but I can hardly remember her voice. I can see myself in the playground. I see the trees, the open space, and the kids running around chasing after each other. Then there's my mother, who's telling me that I was born with a twin brother who died. And I remember being completely amazed. I'm thinking, nobody I know can have had such an experience. It's mine, all mine. The fact that someone identical to me died at the very moment I was being born was, was bewildering to me. Where did he go and into what dimension? It took me a while to put the question into words, and I'm still seeking an answer. And to this day, it affects the way I relate to people. My mother said that while she was pregnant with me, she had quite a lot of bleeding. Once, she hemorrhaged, and she felt a big clot come out. At the hospital, they didn't tell her anything. But she thinks there was another baby. I scooched up to the very top of her uterus as if I was hanging on for dear life. And for the rest of the pregnancy, she never felt me. I never moved. I never told you, Paul, but at birth, you were not completely alone. There was something else, a little dead thing. Such a pitiful sight. Mothers don't always tell their children about what happened during their pregnancy. Doctors sometimes advise them not to say anything. But when you find out, at long last, as an adult, after an entire life feeling empty without knowing why, suddenly it all makes sense. It's as if the survivor spends his life looking for the one that disappeared. He looks all over the world. It's probably why I traveled so much. I looked for him in every person I met, especially in my lovers. And in the end, I realized that the other is gone. I'll never find him. When I was born, doctors found the body of my twin who died at three and a half months gestation. A pale little shape stuck to the placenta, flattened. So that's that. For five months, I lived with a tiny corpse, and I believe that marked me for life. Understood that and accepted it. I was able to move on. <laughs> 